Hello everyone, Justin here from Meridian Vocational College. We're looking at uh, preparing seafood dishes. So this unit in section 2, I'd like you to turn to section 2 of your learning guide. And we're going to be looking at how we select, how we prepare and how we use um, a whole different range of uh, equipment uh, in the kitchen. Okay, so one thing I really want to, to focus on at Stratus is we know the importance of making sure that we um, look before and make sure that it, the equipment is, is clean before using. Okay, so fish, whether it be um, crustacean, whether it be um, uh, saltwater fish, that these are, are potentially high risk um, in, ingredients that we're going to be using. So we always need to be very careful to make sure that we, we look, we observe, and also make sure that we're cleaning um, correctly. Okay, uh, this is a really important part when we look at preparing seafood dishes. First of all, I just want to have a look here at uh, some different equipment. Um, there, are, there are many different equipment that you use and this varies from kitchen to kitchen. Okay, but when I look at something like a blue chopping board, okay, so when we uh, clean down fish, when we clean down um, prawns or, or crabs or we need to clean down squid, we always uh, use a blue chopping board, okay? At the end, we need to make sure that we take that chopping board over to the sink. We take a steel and we steel wool and we give that a really good scrub, really good clean down with hot soapy water. Um, often the mistake that many people make uh, or students make is that they actually put that chopping board right from cleaning down that, uh, that squid, they'll put that straight into the dishwasher. Okay, we need to make sure that we give this a really good clean with hot soapy water um, and then it goes into the dishwasher for a final um, clean and sanitize. Remember, when that chopping board comes out from the other side of the dishwasher, have a look, make sure it's clean. Okay, because otherwise that, that, uh, that seafood there left on that chopping board, um, it might be used by another chef or another student in one or two days time. We need to make sure it's very clean. Some other equipment that we'll be using, we'll be using a chef knife, we'll be using a filleting knife. So using the right tool for the right job. There'll be times where we need to actually use our chef knife um, to cut through larger um, parts of the fish, maybe the spine, um, as we clean down a whole fish. There's times when we're actually gonna be using a flexible filleting knife. The blade has a little bit of flex in there. That allows us to um, safely and correctly um, take down underneath the actual uh, skin of, let's say we're, we're um, taking away the skin from a whole salmon. And we want to make sure that we don't remove a lot of that flesh. We're also going to be using some fish tweezers. Okay, another example is when we have a whole snapper, we need to make sure that we once we have taken those um, fish uh, sides away from the actual spine, um, we have two fillets. So we need to actually carefully pin bone. Okay, the term that we use is, is pin boning when we're using the fish uh, tweezers. Okay, so we want to take that out. We don't want to serve a fillet of fish to our customer um, with, with bones still in there. We also have a oyster shuck. Okay, so when we have fresh um, oysters and they're still, um, they're still with that, haven't been shucked yet, we can actually do that um, ourselves. So we have a oyster shucker, which is a little um, small tool. Um, we have a tea towel over the oyster and we want to just get under the hinge to pop open that. Then you just give a little bit of a clean down on, uh, around the oyster and take it away from the actual shell, ready to present to the customer. You just want to make sure that there's no shell in there, um, that it's clean. You don't want to wash off um, the oyster because that's washing off that nice uh, flavor of the, of the sea, of the ocean. We want to keep that, that really nice uh, um, sea salt flavor. Often we can, uh, when we pan fry fish, we want to be using a fish uh, spatula. Okay, so this is a really important piece of um, equipment and utensil to use. Okay, so if we're doing a little bit of a shallow fry of some um, pan-fried uh, baby snapper, we want to make sure that we 
are very delicate. Think about fish being very careful, okay? Treat it with love. We don't want to be taking tongs and, and crushing that fish, okay? We, we just have to be gentle. Go with a spatula underneath to, to flip over that, uh, that pan-fried snapper. We also need to have a really great understanding of, of how we store fish, whether it be um, whole fish, filleted fish, crustaceans, um, live, live mussels or oysters. Um, so often we'll have a, a fish tray, okay, and then we'll have a, a perforated tray that goes on top with holes and we'll put crushed ice. Okay, that allows the ice to melt away without the fish sitting in water in the fridge. Okay, so remember that we store fish in the coldest part of the gourum. Okay, so between one and two degrees. Um, always on the bottom shelf. Okay, so we know that we have to rotate our stock. We put cooked fish above raw fish. Um, and we have to always be mindful that we're, we're putting a label, we're putting a date. Okay, so what the product is, when it came into the kitchen, because we know that we need to be mindful that fish doesn't have a long uh, shelf life. Okay, so after one or two days, the fish starts to deteriorate. Okay, so we can't come back into the cool room in five days time and expect that, um, that squid to be good quality and fresh to serve to the customer. We just have to be very mindful that this is a high risk, uh, potentially high risk food. The other thing I want to explain to you is um, we look at keeping our knives nice and sharp. Okay, so when we're cleaning down fish, um, if we're cutting through to, to portion the fish into nice fillets or goujons or into the supreme, we want to make sure that we have a really sharp knife. Okay, we, we understand that a sharp knife is actually a safe knife to use. Okay, so you might need to take your knife and, and sharpen it up on a stone. Then you can take your steel and then you just want to hone the knife and keep that edge going. Okay, so otherwise there's a real risk of um, cutting yourself or also cutting into to the flesh of the fish. So keep your knives nice and sharp. This is really important. Stay safe. Make sure that you know how to use the equipment. Okay, so um, having a good understanding of how to use the equipment will, will help you in terms of your time management. Um, and also we use, we use equipment to, to speed up the process. But it's really important that you know how to actually use that equipment. Never be careless when we use the equipment. So make sure you take the time to um, ask your trainer or ask another student if you're unsure, if there's any doubt, um, when it comes to preparing seafood um, and using different equipment in the kitchen, just ask, okay, never hesitate. Um, always concentrate on what you're doing, okay, so this is, this is really important. Um, if there's a time where you have to use a piece of equipment, um, let's say you're frying some fish and you're using the deep fryer, just be very mindful that potentially this is a dangerous uh, piece of equipment to use. Okay, so always take your time. An example of that is if you're putting fish into a batter, okay, you're making fish and chips, we have to be careful that we don't just drop that fish in there, that we carefully lower, lower it away from us into the deep fried oil, okay, so that oil uh, splashes away from us. So always think in the kitchen, safety number one. And this is really relevant when we're working with seafood. Thank you very much.